Okay, I'm back, and uh, this video is going to be about the rudder um, uh, servo uh, arm. And so I've got a, uh, a servo, I've already labeled it rudder, I've taken the uh, round servo arm off, we don't need round ones. But we really only have two choices, because the rudder um, servo controls both the rudder and the nose wheel steering. So you have to have two arms. Okay, So you have a choice of this arm or uh, the red arm. And um, now your, your kit may be different. You might have, they're all white or whatever color and there's just different lengths. Okay. Um, I already looked at the uh, size of this and this one is too long to fit in the cabin and mount to the servo. So I only have one choice, which is the red one. Um, the red one has um, um, two different sides to it. If you notice, the, um, the top here has three holes and the side here has four holes. So we've got three holes, three holes, four holes, four holes. And also, the four hole is thicker in the three hole. Okay, so uh, what I'm going to do is use the the three holes that way and one side will be the the nose gear and the other side will be the rudder. So um, I'm going to go ahead and mount that. Um, well first before I mount it I want to center the uh, servo. So I'm going to plug this rudder into the rudder channel of the uh, servo, I mean the, the servo wire into the rudder channel of the receiver, black wire down, the rudder channel is next to where the, where the wire is here um, for the battery. So um, that's in place, I'm going to turn on the radio. And morning throttle high. Morning throttle high. That was from the previous video. Uh, good, good warning that says, "Hey, uh, your throttle is uh, up." Um, okay, so I'm going to turn on the um, receiver with the switch. Got the switch here, and the receiver is glowing. And we should be able to hear this thing move the move the rudder. Okay, uh, that's good. Uh, it's centered. Now I'm going to do the best I can. Um, let's see. The rudder servo is in this direction, and you can see that from. Um, one of the pictures in the in the manual. Okay, so the um, there's the picture for the rudder um, and the nose wheel steering push rod. And it notice that it has a push rod connector um, for the nose wheel steering and a bent wire for the uh, rudder. So um, I'm not going to do that. I'm going to use two uh, connectors. And um, the reason I like the two connectors is, is I think they're better and easier to adjust. And frankly, the nose wheel steering and rudder if that ever slipped is not a big loss, you can still find land the airplane. So, um, <clears throat> all right, so I got this, the, the thing is centered. It's gonna go, uh, the, the forward part is, the forward part of the aircraft where the engine in is up. And uh, so I'm gonna just put the, the uh, okay, that's a little crooked. I'm going to try to get it back one. That's a little crooked, but better. And uh, so I'm going to live with that one. 
and uh, I'm going to push that all the way down in place. Let me try again. There we go. It's in place, and now you can see that the you know rudder is moving, and that the three holes uh, are on each side. And uh, so I'm going to go ahead and screw that on. I'll put the um, washer in place. Grab my um, screw and screwdriver and just screw that in place. Not locked all the way down yet. We'll do that later. And so um, that's certainly not uh, uh, centered exactly. We can use sub trim to center that if we want, uh, but I'll decide that later when we get ready to finalize everything. So um, the next thing to do is to put the two um, uh, connectors on to see how they fit. Okay, and remember, there's um, there's a a small black. Um, connector that I don't like to use. I always like to use the the white nylon one. And so I'm going to put this in the last hole of the three on the side here. It should slip in nicely. And on the other side I'm going to put that and I'm going to leave the screws and the bottom connectors uh, off for right now because I want to go uh, test fit this in the airplane next. So I'll meet you at the airplane. So here we are at the airplane and I'm going to go ahead and drop the um, rudder servo in. First you got to get the wire down in place. tilt it so I can get the wire connector in and in you go okay so um, that arm certainly isn't centered enough I'll uh, center it later with some sub trim before I attach the uh, rudder push rod but here's a rudder push rod and you can see that that's gonna um, Go in place very nicely. Well, I said that, but let me push it in there. There we go. And now I pull it out. Okay. That's okay. Okay, so there's the, the rudder push rod. Now the um, nose wheel steering push rod. Remember the nose wheel steering push rod is the one with the Z-bend. That Z-bend goes in the front and so I'm going to push that through the, the other end through the here and come back here and see how this fits. Okay. Now this does not have any um, tube on it and um, frankly the nose wheel steering uh, can be whatever we want it to be. Um, it's not as critical as others. Um, uh, sorry, I put it through the wrong hole. Let me show you this. Um, the hole that the nose wheel steering goes through, let me show you the front of the airplane here. So the front of the airplane has the nose wheel steering thing there and the hole is right beside it for this. So I'm going to put it through the right hole. Notice how it comes up through there. 
and there is, you see right there, you can see there's a hole for the nose wheel steering already there. So now, that in place, um, you can also see that the nose wheel steering is um, going to need a hole here. So um, I'm going to have to drill a hole for that to fit through. And uh, I think I'll stop and do that hole now. Okay, I'm back and you can see that the nose wheel steering push rod is through its hole there. I want to figure out where to put it, the hole here. I actually want this out a little bit than where that is. That looks nice and straight. So that's where I want the nose wheel hole. Okay, so I've made a little mark with a pencil. And let me go get a twist drill and um, uh, we'll drill that out. Okay, I've got a um, 3 30 seconds drill bit attached to a really long um, extension. And I'm going to hold this here. And I'm going to drill my hole. Make sure I'm in the right spot, right there. Looks good. through and uh, let me get the uh, nose wheel steering push rod push it back through the hole this hole see, see if it goes through that hole okay it does okay and its hole is should have been a little bit higher obviously it um, meets up there. Okay, let's get down here a little bit. Okay, uh, so now I'm going to tr try to test to make sure that the hole I drilled um, is going to work. So what I did was um, I, I, pushed, I made the push rod go through the connector and I put a little screw on it. Um, hold it down. Now I'm going to hold down the servo like it's screwed in. And I've got the radio and receiver connected uh, to this servo. And I'm going to just test the rudder. Okay. And uh, what you want to do is make sure there's no binding. You don't hear any binding. Uh, let me move that up a little bit. So you you'll hear a bind, you'll hear a servo squeal or or um, and the servo arm is going to bend a little. That's okay. Okay, you hear that? Listen for the bind right here. That's the servo binding, and what you see is is that this part of that arm is hitting the rod right there. And when you get a bind like that, um, you got to eliminate it. So this part of the arm is superfluous, so I'm just going to cut that off. And um, uh, so it won't, won't bind. So we've got a slight bind there. Other than that, uh, as long as the servo is all the way to um, the left side of the aircraft, this hole will work fine. Okay. Yep, so I'm going to have to cut the front part of this servo off, servo arm off, and uh, that'll be easy to do. So I think that's going to work fine. Okay, I'm back about the um, uh, rudder servo arm. By the way, the drill I was using to drill that hole, I used a uh, DeWalt um, small little 12-volt um, drill. 
Uh, what's nice about it, it, and I have a, obviously a very long extension, and it's a flexible extension too. So, um, and you can hold it here and go very slow. And so I had it all the way out the front of the uh, airplane, and uh, that worked pretty well. The bit I was using, I want to make sure you understood what it was. It was um, three thirty seconds. Okay. The rod is one sixteenth, uh, so that's uh, two thirty seconds. So this was just a thirty second over, and that seemed to be enough. You have to drill a pretty accurate hole. I didn't want too much slop in the hole because that, that hole will actually prevent the um, uh, push rod from bending if there's a bind or something. Um, but uh, so we'll take care of that. Okay, so um, now I'm going to take the the um, connector off and the connector uses a small screw and that screw is screwed on with a um, 3 30 second um, uh, hex head bit. So uh, I'm just going to leave that screw there for now. Uh, what I want to do now, I've taken both of the connectors off, I need to take this off and uh, before I take it off I'm going to get a sharpie marker so I cut off the wrong part. <laughs> Obviously I don't want to cut off the wrong part. So um, that was in the airplane this way. And uh, so I need to make sure I cut off the front part of that servo arm right there. So I'm just going to cut that off. Okay, I'm going to cut the arm off of this uh, um, red servo arm. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a nice sharp uh, razor blade, being very careful, and just basically score it. Uh, this is the servo arm that is extra thick. And I'm going to go th through the last hole too, so that'll help. Okay. Turn over and score it on this side. Sorry, you can't see because my hand is in the way, but that's just scoring it. I'm going to see if I can just break it. If I break it and screw it up, I've got another ribbon if I need to. Hmm, that's going to be a little harder than I thought. It is extra thick, so um, I'm going to go to plan B. Okay, so plan B, because this is extra thick, I don't feel like cutting it, I'm just going to sand it off. I got my... Uh, uh, delta belt and uh, disc sander, and I'm going to use the belt. And uh, just that easy, it's uh, sanded off. Okay, so I'm back in the bench. I've sanded off the top arm that we don't need that was binding. Um, and that's why you always have to watch out for the binding. I'm going to put this uh, back on in the right direction and uh, put the... Well, I'll tell you what, before I do that, I don't want to do that yet, I want to, I want to attach the um, connectors. So. Uh, Put away the 332nd hex head, so let me get that. So 332nd uh, hex driver, take the screw out, and now I want to put those in the arms, and I'm going to put them on the outside arm of both, and um, I'm going to use a little plastic uh, keepers on the bottom. Got the little plastic keeper. I'm going to start it with my thumb and get it all the way there with the uh, pliers. OK. 
Okay. One down. And make sure you put it on the right side, okay? That's the hole uh, is up. There's the, the um, teeth on the bottom that the uh, gear fits in. So that's up. And get my other little plastic keeper. Start it with my thumb, actually. Works better. Okay, started with the thumb. Get my little pliers and sink it home. Okay, so both of those are on. I'll uh, screw this back on. in place, screw, screw down. Okay, so the connectors are on, the uh, top arm is sanded off with a belt sander, and the keepers are in place. The labels in place and uh, that's going to go in the airplane. So that's it for the um, rudder and um, we'll go on to the next servo.